What we're doing here now is we are replacing the stems in the delta faucets. Uh, these, both these faucets drip. We did determine that when the water was turned on. And let's define that drip is actually more of a steady trickle in, in this, this case, house. In this case, it was a stream, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to replace the guts, or the inside of this uh, Delta faucet. Delta is a very common brand, so these parts work. Uh, Pretty much universal. Well, yeah, these are universal parts for Delta, uh, but they also work in Peerless, and there's a few other brands that use very similar parts. And the way the inside of the faucet works is there is a... It's a little stainless steel spring mm -hmm. and a little rubber washer or cap. Okay. This is the uh, stem itself, the uh, interior workings. And what this does is this seats up against the mm -hmm. washer. And you'll see there's a hole, moon-shaped hole in there. So that when you turn the faucet off, it is covered by this area so that it does not uh, drip. And then when you turn the faucet on, it rotates this entire body uh, so that the washer then is open. The water comes up through here into this area and then out through the spigot. Okay. And so we are going to replace. And uh, one other tip here is that this is a universal stem for hot and cold. Uh, but if you've ever turned on faucets, you'll notice that the hot and cold turn in opposite directions. So this is designed to go both ways so that... Uh, whether it's hot or cold, you'll be able to turn it correctly instead of having to turn it opposite. Uh, start by taking off the cap, the decorative cap that covers the handle. <laughs> Which I think I should be amazed at that it's still intact in this place. Which is, yeah, very surprising. And you can kind of tell the, the, the fixtures aren't exactly in great shape. Yeah. And the handle is screwed on, so we'll unscrew it. lifts off and shows us our guts yeah. <laughs> which as you see looks very close to that one there okay uh, there is a large nut here that holds that in place ah nuts that's all I'm good for is color commentary yeah. <laughs> crescent wrench for so we'll just so screwdriver and, and crescent wrench that's pretty much our tool needs for this right yeah. okay Oh, and uh, there's also some plumber's grease and, of course, the stem. Oh, yeah, but that's the part. Yeah. And actually, I'm replacing the whole stem, but if the faucet is leaking, nine times out of ten, all you need to replace is just the seat and spring. Okay. The. Uh, Can you buy those separate from the... Generally, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Because I see they came as a set. But... Right. In, in my case here, they came as a set. But, uh, yes, you can buy the seat and spring separately. And since, of course, the seat is made of rubber, um, that's what wears down as it rubs against the bottom of the stem. Okay. So, and all that does is just pull straight out, and you'll see it's, you know, very similar design. This one happens to be a, a metal one. Now, is metal better than plastic in some of these cases? Um, depends on the application. Um, sometimes I, well, they just use metal entirely. Um, I think with plastics now, these are a little bit softer plastics. Than the, the harder plastics didn't work quite as well, but I think the little bit softer plastics, they seat a little bit better against the rubber, so. And the harder plastics would probably wear out and crack. Right. A so. lot quicker. And we'll get a pair of... Oh, to get the spring out? Yep, because it's... There's the little washer. There's the... That. Which is very much worn compared to the one you've got yes. to replace it. And we can get the spring out of there if I can. <laughs> it's like that the operation game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we can compare the two here. Okay, here we go. You'll so, see that the old one here yeah. is quite flat. And shiny. Yep. And the new one here is more rounded. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> oh. Drop my stem. And we'll put this new spring. And of course, we have the water turned off still from fixing yes. the pipe. So you would want to turn off the water before you do this, right? Otherwise, you'd have like a geyser going right now. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to use the old spring again because these springs are slightly different as well. Oh. You see, one has a Whoa. larger base. Oh, okay, yeah, more and, coils and yeah. stuff. And that one is the one that came out, and since it's larger on the bottom, I think I have to put it back in because the hole in the bottom is... You can just enlarge the with your pliers? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. No. no. I mean, I'm sure the spring is still fine. Yeah, the spring is seems to be in good shape. So. Okay. So we'll just put that one back in. Sometimes new is not always best. <laughs> 
Well, the kitchen faucets, I think, use these smaller ones a lot of times, but... And we gotta replace that one, too. <laughs> yeah. But that's a single handle instead of a double handle. Right. right. I'm gonna put this in now. Before I do that, I'm gonna spread on the top a little plumber's grease. And what does that do? That is designed to uh, help it uh, move smoothly. Oh, okay. Rather than having to really crank things around and right. jerky move. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So you put a little bit of that on the, on the rubber and it helps to uh, move smoothly and it will help the rubber from deteriorating quite as quickly. Okay. Since it won't have... And you're using needle nose pliers to put everything in place? Yep, yeah, because of the smallness of the area here. Oops. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I'm just trying to get oh. things situated here. You almost need like four steps. Yep, there you go. <laughs> to keep it in place. Oh, and of course, then I. <laughs> oh, you know, it happens. And then push it down. Mm -hmm. ah. See, we learn on the first one, and then we just do it that way on the second one on purpose, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, it should seat in there, but is it not? It's just being finicky. Dumb question, potentially. Um, if you put the works in there on top of it, and kind of, will it kind of That's, help it go into place? Um, yeah, but I want to make sure that it's okay. not going to fall on, in on itself before. It... Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Oh, there we go. Yay! Alright, and since I probably wiped off all the grease, we'll just put a little bit more on there. Would it be easier next time to put yeah. the washer in and then add the grease on top? Yeah. So, alright, now we're going to seat. And there are a couple of notches. Yeah. Yep. Which you see match up with those. Oh, okay. Yeah. And. You replace the nut. Mm hmm. Just finger tight, or do you need the? Oh, nope. you need the wrench. Just give it a little, not too tight, but just enough to. Yeah, because too tight will strip it again, right? Right. Yeah. So that's. I think I remember mom having to deal with that, in, in one of our old places was, you know, you you put things back together and then you put them too tight and it just strips what you've yeah. done. Let's that's supposed to move. <laughs> All right. Later. Then we we'll just put the handle back on. And it only seats one way, so. What do you think? Those are cast iron um, sinks? Mm. Porcelain. Porcelain, okay. Because I saw on Craigslist a pair of um, cast irons, and I wasn't sure if that would be an improvement from what we had or not. Mm -hmm. I like cast iron. Okay. And, you know, once we turn the water back on, after we finish replacing the other faucets, or repairing them, then we'll turn the water back on and make sure everything works the way it's supposed to. Exactly. So it's a slightly different setup. I've got the parts laid out here, which are out of the kits. Repair kit and uh, the stainless steel ball. And Oops, too close. It uses the similar principle. It uses the seats and springs at the bottom of the faucet, except sitting on top of it is a stainless steel ball. I do recommend the stainless steel instead of the plastic balls, uh, definitely for this application. So, and the other one, metal, wasn't as critical, but in this case, I would definitely go with the stainless steel ball. And the seats seat up against the base of the sphere here, and then there are several holes in here. These two holes open up for the hot and cold and shift back and forth. See this ball rotates on the top of the spring so you adjust how much hot and how much cold you're getting. And then go into the ball and come out here which goes to the spout. And there are 
other seals here. There, there are O-rings here that uh, would go inside the, uh, underneath the spout uh, to keep it from leaking around the outside. This seats up on top of the ball assembly. And then there are two plastic uh, caps here. One is for a faucet and one is for a tub. The triangular one here is for a faucet, which is for this ball here. So this allows the ball to uh, go hot, cold, on, off. The other one is designed for a tub spout, which uses a different ball, but uh, the principle is the same. Turn the faucet on, and in, th in that case you just turn it left or right to, for hot and cold. So it's got a kind of a football shaped uh, stem instead of a round one like this one is. So. Final item here is just a little tool they give with the uh, repair kits which has a small Allen wrench on here for taking off the handle and uh, other part here for seating it. So I'm going to take apart the faucet now. Start by taking off the handle which is what this little Allen wrench is for. But if you didn't have that for some reason a hex wrench is what you... Yes, right. Okay. If you've got an Allen wrench the same size, that works just perfectly as well. Okay. Since they give it with it, that's what I'm using. So, and the handle just... just Maybe. It's supposed to just lift off. In theory. In theory. Is there something else holding it on? No. But I don't see it screwing out, so I'm wondering if... It's stripped, maybe? Yeah. Uh-oh. We'll be replacing the whole thing. This may be a short video. <laughs> Oops. I guess it is stripped because I'm not even turning. Um, I saw a little hack on somewhere that said, you know, if you've got a strip screw, use a, a rubber band. But I think that was the head was stripped, not the. So. What are our options? Aside from going to Lowe's and just buying a new faucet. Which we don't want to do quite yet. Uh, no. You could probably use a larger, I don't know if I have a larger Allen. See, my hex sets are at home. I actually have those tools. Yeah. Granted, I bought them for Viking uh, chain weight but. Eh. Is my tool just Tortoise? Okay, so what did you end up having to use? Uh, this is a Torx uh, driver, which is a star. Oh, so it's a kind of like a, a Phillips, or but not yeah, really. It's... A Phillips with six points instead of four. Okay. Yeah. Did not know such a thing existed. <gasps> Yay! Now, do we have a replacement screw? <laughs> uh, I do not, but we can sure get one. Okay. And yes. Oh man, that's kind of gross, isn't it? Mm -hmm. let's, let's zoom in there and see just how funky that is. I can see part of the reason it didn't work is the uh, the off position, uh -huh. the way they've got it in here, is yeah. supposed to be here. Oh. I mean, it turns off here, but it was leaking because it's not going as far down as it's supposed to. Oh, okay. So they, they had the thing turned around. Yeah. You'll see this triangle here. Ooh. Instead of having it with this point to the front where it's supposed to be, uh -huh. they had it like this. So someone tried to fix it, but just didn't know what they were doing, really. Or when they torqued the top on, they torqued it too tight and rotated. Uh, so. Oh, okay. So when you re reattach the handle, you have to be careful not to move anything right. else. Which is where the other end of this comes in. Ah. On top of this, hopefully I'll be able to do it, yeah. is a, a plastic ring, which mm -hmm. tightens down. So it looks like it's kind of worn. Yeah. So that is designed. There we go. That one actually moves Okay. Oh, I so see. It's got little, little, the, yep. the tool has little yep. prongs mm -hmm. to fit in the notches. Right. Oh, okay. And you see, so what you're supposed to do is you tighten the handle down, uh -huh. and then you tighten this part down so that it doesn't move around. Move oh, yeah. so maybe they didn't do that. Right. They probably had this in the, in the down position already, and it was seating it and torquing it at the same time. So. See... Learn something every day. Granted, I knew nothing about this, so. Let's see. The extent of 
my experience with leaking faucets was replacing washers, and even then I never actually did it, I just saw other people do it. So that's a pipe wrench specifically, okay. Oh, it's moving the whole thing. Uh oh. Well, we didn't bring WD 40 or anything. Mm -hmm. I hear something. Tim Taylor uh, school of... <laughs> yeah, more power! <laughs> I don't know if that counts as an obscure 90s reference yet or not. I think most people know about Tim Allen and his shtick. It's still in syndication. Okay, so that's the little part that's here. Right. Mm -hmm. And then that's the ball and the washers. Okay. Yep. Do we need to clean that out? Right, spring. Yeah, but that one's cracked. Oh. So that's why, that's another part of the reason it was leaking. So that's one of the springs was cracked, or is no, that the, the washer? The washer. <laughs> oh, okay. It's split right down the side. Or it's got a big tonk out of it, rather. Which, yeah, that uh, lets water go through. So even if it was in the correct position, it... It would probably have still been leaking, yes. Yeah. It may not have been a, a heavy stream. So I think this thing was just pretty much foobar. Yeah. <laughs> But, so this fix, though, should hold us over until we're actually ready to replace the, is that a little button there? Yeah, that is a diverter. Whoa! Oops. That's a diverter for the spray assembly. Oh, we oh. turn the spray on, it pulls this back so that it blocks the water. Oh, the so the little, the, the handle thingy there. Mm -hmm. Huh. Kind of like the, the thing you push, well that's attached well. Um, so kind of like in the showers when you have to pull up the thing to exactly. divert it to the, the, the shower head. Exactly. Okay. Exactly the same principle. Yep. And, but this one is an automatic, not a manual. Or, or something in the, the, the sprayer nozzle activates right. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Diverting pressure from one to the other is going to go where the pressure is. Lowest. Or okay. So you so you squeeze the handle on the the sprayer and that tells it you know that that draws the yeah. oh there's some water in there so that draws the water over that way and right. okay all right yeah there's some water in the hose which is why it's leaking okay well such is life that's <laughs> one thing we have is plenty of paper towels. <laughs> Definitely want to replace this faucet because. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty simple, basic piece of crap, but. Mm -hmm. But we can wait until we know what we right, want the yeah. overall kitchen to look like. Exactly, yeah. And I do want to go with the single handle again. You do? Yeah. Okay. If we can, I mean, I don't know if you want to. I don't know. I prefer to go with single handles in everything except for the tub, the uh, tubs. Okay. But. Oh, no. yeah, we can talk about I, I don't really have a preference either way. I, I, I kind of want a soaker, one of the, you know, spray, you know, the kitchen style spray uh, nozzles. Oh, okay, the uh, uh -huh. pull out sprays. But I think you can still do that on a single handle, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, that's, that's my one, mm -hmm. one request because we have that sort of in the, the current one. Sorry. Okay, what you got? This is called an O ring. Well, yes. It is. Even well, I knew that. Uh, <laughs> no. No? The O is because it is round uh -huh. inside. They also oh. have D rings, which have a flat inside and a round outside. Oh. See, this is the ring, not the O part. Oh. So when you see O ring, this is the ring. This so it's a spherical tube mm -hmm. as opposed to a half spherical too like right. is this one no that's one. okay yeah, this one is See, I just thought they were called o-rings because they were right. in a circle common common misconception okay so 
But see, in sewing, a D ring, and just like in binders, a D ring means right. that it actually looks like a D, but it's mm -hmm. still round all the way. I mean, the, the metal or whatever is still extruded in a cylinder. Right. There's no flat side on it. It's the, the shape. So, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Things can't be universal, apparently. Not when it comes to plumbing. Well, plumbing and cars. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I've got those two off. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and place them as well so that we can not have leaking water around there. Yes, we, we kind of don't want to be paying to run water the entire time. And we really don't want to have to keep turning the water off at the street every no. freaking time we come up here. Because that's kind of ridiculous. And it's usually at night. Mm -hmm. So we put the first o -ring, the first two O-rings? Yeah, I put the big O-rings on the spout there. First. Okay, so, so the big O-rings on the spout. Yeah. And yeah, because there are two sets. They're right, there's large big and, and small. small. Okay. Uh, but since it's a universal kit, these are probably for tub. Oh, okay. So you don't have to use all of them. No. Oh, okay. All right. Now we'll put these seats and springs in. And this one, I've got a little bit more room to navigate. So maybe it won't fight you as much as right. the... Uh... And it doesn't. Oops. And you're still going to use the grease on it? Or? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I should probably put the grease on the uh, stuff. Wall okay. Of the that makes sense. But doesn't that mean that it'll come through the water? It'll wash out eventually. Oh. Yeah. Define eventually, because we'd be, you know, drinking this nest somehow. Um, within a few minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> By the time we get clear water out of here, as opposed to rust colored water, it'll be. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, and we might need something with a pure filter or something on it yeah. eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe get a a Brita pitcher or something mm -hmm. for the time being. Yep, so I've got those in there. Okay. So the O-ring, the thing, and you put the, the washer in, mm -hmm. but not the spring? No, I put the spring in there too. Oh, okay, I didn't yeah. say. I wasn't yeah, I put, I put them together before I put them in. Oh, okay. Well, I just see you have two springs left, so I was wondering what... Yeah, no, these are, again... Extras. Universal kits, so they got two sets of springs. Okay. Uh, those springs we do not need. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, they always joke. It's like you're not supposed to have parts left over. <laughs> well, when putting it back together, if you're using the same parts, that's correct. <laughs> All right. Next is the ball assembly. And this actually goes in very easy because you'll see there's a slot on one, only on one side of the ball here. Uh-huh. And there's a little pin on the inside here. Okay, I'll take your word for that because I don't think I can get that close. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Got it. So the little slot goes with the pin with the barge hole to the front, which is okay. the only way it can go. Oh, okay. And that keeps the ball in place. So right. that, and those those holes allow for the, the hot and cold right. water to come so through. Yeah, hot and cold on each side here. And Oops, this is, wait. I don't have you lined yes. up. Okay. Hot and cold through each of these. And uh -huh. then, you know, as you rotate back and forth, it'll close off or open up mm -hmm. one of the holes to allow more water and from hot or cold. The big one is for both? The big one is for the south coming out. It's got to come out too. Oh, okay. So this goes out toward the spout. Okay. That's some freaky geometry there because you got to. No wonder it's so hard to get. See, this is why I'm not necessarily a fan of the single handle things because then you've got to get it just right to get the right amount of hot and the right amount of cold as opposed to turning one on and then turning on the other. Mm. But you know, it's 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 a kitchen faucet usually you're using hot water anyway, yeah. so it's not really a Alright, so a little plumber's grease on that and So I think my vote is gonna be for double handles on bathroom sinks, but I, I can go with a, a a single on the okay. and I'll put just a little bit of grease on this too to Although it doesn't really need it because it's got the uh, silicone on it. Okay. Oops. But I'll put some on there anyway, just just to help it seat and, and uh, move a little freer. Mm -hmm. And that goes right on top and into the faucet. And then we'll put this piece on. You'll notice there is a knot or a uh, Ooh, little wait. tab. Wait, wait. Okay tab on here. Okay, it fits to into the notch. With the notch that's here. Okay. Which was not being done the first time. Oh, really? That's why it was turned. Oh, like so there's like multiple stop gaps or checks mm -hmm. and balances to keep what happened with this faucet before from happening. Correct. So they really had to screw this up in order for it to be 
so wrong. Or just leave it and, and not worry about it, yes. Yeah, I mean, there were a few simple things would have fixed a lot of the issues. Well, that's probably they, the case with a lot of this house. <laughs> if they had known what they were doing, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yes, if they had anybody who had any plumbing knowledge at all, they would have been all able right. to do that. So. All right, we'll clean the inside of this yeah. for a bit. I hope you don't need running water to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, does that actually, you know, does that just kind of sit there and everything else holds it on, or does it... it... Right, yeah, it, it just sits there, it'll rotate back. Oh, that's water. right, because yeah. it's just, okay. But yeah, there's the hole, that's, the water comes out, um, mm -hmm. and then the O-ring seat up here and down here to keep it from... Yeah, you can sort of see the ridges the in there. This part here, the cat. I'll see if I can turn that off a little bit too. And I'm not the only one who's had some teeth marks on here. It looks like they tried oh. to take that off in the past. It looks like because there are some rusted tool marks too. So someone tried to fix it at one point. Charming. Well, get him, give him a B for effort. <laughs> uh, C plus. C plus. <laughs> well, you're doing it this time, so it's being done right. Or more right. <laughs> well, we hope. I mean, Fine. faucets <laughs> leak. I mean, the parts wear out. I mean, that's just kind of their nature. So I guess it's, I mean, it's, it, it's no one's fault when they wear out over time, but right. we have no idea at what point they tried to fix this. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so got that on tight, and I'm just gonna hand tight it for right now. If I need to tighten up, I will. Right. And, oh, and then that's the little. Yep, I'll put that back in. That's the little notchy bit to keep it. Right. This actually helps seat uh -huh. seat it back down even further. With the so. little tool to uh, mm -hmm. line them up correctly. So that you're not really worried about over tightening as much as making sure it's in place and but good. Right. Yeah. Okay. I never know which you know. Right. Don't yeah. over tighten this. Make sure you super tighten that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like lug nuts on a car, you know. Yeah. Is too yeah. much enough? Um, and there is a little flat part on the back okay. here, which is where I'll see you can get it too tight because it it's got to move. But that's where the Allen wrench will go. Okay. Receipt. It's the notch, or, or in your case, the torque. Yeah. Is it torque like, you know... T-O-R-X. Oh, torques. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like the... What, what is torque? Torque is like the unit Q of pull yeah. or Q -U -E, something? Q-U-E, yeah. The T-O-R-Q-U-E. Yeah. Is, is, yeah, it's a physics or engine. Term. All right. Okay. So that so should that, do it. That is done. Now... The moment of truth. I think we're ready to turn on the water. Woohoo! Let's give it a shot and see what we... Root. Large root. It's probably from the azaleas, though. Yeah. And there's a valve in here, which is currently turned to the off position, which is out. You'll see a bit of the pipe going this way. Okay. Oops. And Stop. so you can tell it's off by in that position. Okay, it's so off. it's perpendicular to the pipe is off. Right. Okay. It can only go two ways. It can go this way. I mean, it'll go here, down to here. Okay. It's got a 90 degree swing, and that's all it can do. So I'm going to turn it to the on position. So that is on. And hope we don't hear gushing water coming out of somewhere it's not supposed to. Right. And the water over here. So that's running the way it's supposed to. Yep. Yeah. And not seeing any water. This was a gusher last night, so it's already a vast improvement. Yep. Yeah. Rock on. 
Now before, all of this was like just, you know, yep, seeping was... water. So already that's better. Mm -hmm. And it actually turns off. <laughs> Yay! 